Hey friends, welcome to a paint with me tutorial. Today we're painting acorns and oak leaves in a loose watercolor style. Let's get started. So start with a size six brush, get a little bit of a brownish orange and start roughly putting in your shapes. I'm kind of sketching with my paintbrush, just doing a light layer of where the acorns will sit. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just putting in the first layer. We're also going to put in a little bit of an oak leaf right behind this acorn. I'm trying not to touch the acorn piece right now because it's still wet and just trying to define the oak leaves, the edges, and then avoiding touching the wet area where the acorn is. A little bit more green and then a second leaf coming out to the side. I remember oak leaves are very, um, they're symmetrical, sort of. So whatever you do on the top, you do on the bottom and round out the edges. And this is just your first layer. Just kind of put it in. Okay, so building up your layers. I've got a bit of a darker brown now. Putting it along the bottom edge of the branch. So that's the shadow area. And then getting a little bit of a darker green and pulling out some of the veins that you'll see in the leaf. Just using the tip of the brush really lightly. And then go right back in and start defining some of the other shadows. This is a darker brown and I'm putting them along the bottom of the branch and then the bottom edge of the acorn cap. So that will define that top piece. And also a little bit on the leaves. Grab maybe a little bit of a reddish a reddish orange with a bit of brown. We're gonna define the actual bottom part of the acorn where it's rounded and there's a bit of light hitting it. So I'm just gonna go around the acorn edges mostly with a darker color and then blending in the edges to make them a little bit soft. Okay, so rinsing your brush and I'm picking up a little bit of yellow to add a little bit more of a golden feel to the acorn. Pushing down and because it's still wet, I can lift up some of that color. So I made it just a little bit lighter and then I added the golden yellow to the acorn caps as well. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of purple. It's a light, the lighter purple, it's like a lavender mixed with a little bit of brown. What we're gonna do is add in a little bit of shadow and more interest into the leaves so they're not just a flat green color. Softening the edges and then just use a paper towel if uh, it gets too watery and just sort of dab it to soften that out so you don't have too many hard edges. And then adding little speckles for interest, for fun details. If they're a little strong you can always rinse your brush and then go back in and soften them up with a little bit of water and then rinsing your brush and drying it and just touching where the paint is and it'll it'll pick up your paint a little bit. The edges of the leaves are getting a little lost so I'm going to go in with a little bit of a green and just bring out those edges a little bit more. Same thing to the top leaf, adding a little bit to uh, just a little bit of the edges and then softening it with a little bit of a paper towel dabbing out some of the, the hard edges. I'm getting a purple. It's a darker purple, which is uh, always pretty to use with yellow. They are complements on the color wheel. So you'll see that when you add purple onto a yellow, it'll bring out all the colors. It kind of looks just a bit more richer. We're going to add some fun um, sort of like cross hatching to the top of the acorn. Just go in one direction diagonal and then go the exact opposite. And then add a little shadow towards the bottom of the acorn. Okay, so switching to a detail brush. This is a size zero brush. Uh, it's much easier to do small details. I'm going back into the dark purple uh, with a little touch of brown in it, but it's mostly purple. And then defining some of the little cross hatching under the branch, everywhere where I want it to stand out a little more. Okay, now with a little bit of a darker green, I'm gonna go back in and do the 
same technique where I'm pulling out a few edges just so that they're a little bit more defined and that style is going to match what I just did to the acorns. Mostly on the veins and where it connects to the branch. Okay, time for the highlights. So a new brush, which is an acrylic brush, white acrylics or gouache, whatever opaque paint you have. And go in where the light would hit it on the round part of the acorn and also on the roundish parts of the acorn caps. And that's the final detail. Thanks for joining me. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Happy painting!